Hi, my name is Ganesh Balamitswin. I'm Product Marketing Manager at Renaissance Electronics. And here I'm showing two demos um, running on the Renesis RZG microprocessor, which is a gigahertz class dual core Cortex A15 microprocessor. Complete general purpose, no special hardware for AI, but doing really good AI. Over here we are showing object recognition with open source AI frameworks. So we've got four different frameworks that we have implemented on our hardware. So any embedded engineer can start off and easily evaluate any of these frameworks, and there's a whole bunch of models. So you can load up a specific model, and you can do two things. You can either go into the camera mode and start the camera and do a capture of the image, and you can see how fast the processing is uh, of any particular model. But we also have an image mode where you can try running it on a stored image and see how it does identification of the, of the image itself. The whole idea here is to enable embedded engineers with an open source framework to actually do their embedded vision projects on a complete general purpose microprocessor. So no learning of special hardware, IP, uh, or anything like that, but just using a dual core ARM Cortex processor. On this side, we're using the exact same hardware, but here we're implementing an actual model in something that's closer to an end product. So we're doing an object detection via SSD, which stands for single shot object detection. It's a mobile net model, and it's actually counting the number of objects that are in its frame. In this case, there are three different objects. There's a computer mouse, scissors, and a fruit. And if I pull out the, the fruit, you'll see that it takes a couple of seconds to adjust and uh, do the new calculation, and if I put it back in, it's again gonna count back and say that there's three different objects there. This is ideal for low speed um, applications, like if you're doing a home appliance or a uh, face detection for a system at home, um, something that's trying to count the number of people in a room, et cetera, those types of applications that don't need very high frame rate. The advantage, again, is that this is running open source software on a completely simple dual core Cortex processor where you don't have to learn any of the, the special tools or anything like that. So get models from online and just deploy them. Any, any of the AI that you're probably learning at this conference, you can try deploying them on a simple dual core Cortex processor which is powerful enough to give you some great uh, performance for AI. And if you're looking for more information about these uh, RZ processors from Renesis, you can go to www.renesas.com slash RZ. Thank you.